All I can tell you is this. You know, a lot of these trees can be blighted and still produce fruit for years. They'll produce a seed for years, and now all of a sudden it's gone. That's what happened with ours. We, we, we had signs of the blight. Uh, it was kind of low. And uh, we were told, and it, it didn't work, it seemed to work, we used undercoating that you'd use on your, under your, your tire wells. And that seemed to work like a charm. But then it worked its way up, and the bark split here, and the bark split there, and it just kept going. But it kept fruiting. We had lots of seed. And then, first part of last year, it came out with some, you know, little cries of, of leaves, and then they went away, and that was it. Now we're getting shoots back, and some of these shoots went this tall last year, but uh, I don't know what that means yet. <laughs> we're going to try the hypo we're going to try the hypo and see what happens. Okay. Uh, do you have a like a membership in the uh, Ozark Chinkapin? Membership for twenty five dollars a year. Okay. And you can just go to Ozark Chinkapin Foundation on you, know, you Google it, mm -hmm. and, and all sorts of great information about the work that's been done over the years. Mm -hmm. Yes. I wonder if um, grafting uh, growing tips of chinkapin onto something that didn't get the blight, is that, could that be a, another direction, maybe, to, to try to, I don't know. Now, uh, Steve Boss has said that people have been successful in playing around that way. Yeah. But I think what he wants to do is try to get something 